Hello and welcome to Electric Bike Report. My name is Pete and this is the Go Cycle G2 electric bike in for testing and review. I'll have the full review at electricbikereport.com, but this video will just give you a brief overview of uh, what this bike is all about. So this is a really versatile uh, bike. It can be a full-on commuter or a nice bike for zipping around country roads. Uh, it's also you know, great for uh, being portable. Uh, it can fold down completely or partially fold and go in the, the trunk of your car uh, or in the RV or boat or maybe if you live in an apartment uh, it's really easy to, to lift up. Uh, it weighs 35 pounds. Um, so it's a really versatile bike and uh, as you'll see in this video there's a ton of features, a lot of really high-tech stuff. So uh, with that let's get into the, the overview. All right, so let's take a look at the injection molded magnesium frame that the Go Cycle utilizes. Uh, this is a really clean frame design. You can see uh, uh, really cool sweeping lines on the uh, frame itself. Uh, not much uh, cable or wire exposure, a lot of internal cable routing uh, to keep things really clean. Uh, the other thing too is that the battery, the lithium battery, 22 volt 10.75 uh, amp hour battery is housed uh, in the frame there. So uh, keeps it uh, really low and centered as far as the weight for good uh, overall bike handling. And then taking a look back here, this is the rear swing arm and uh, you can see that the chain is fully enclosed. There's uh, there's no way you're going to get your pant legs dirty uh, and the chain itself uh, doesn't really require any maintenance. Um, and then you can also see the uh, rear shock here. So that provides one inch of uh, rear suspension to, to smooth the ride out. And then uh, also housed in the, the very back here is a three-speed uh, Shimano Nexus internally geared rear hub, which is actually electronically shifted. Um, there's the predictive shifting uh, that GoCycle has, as well as you can uh, manually shift that if you want to. I'll get into that a little bit later. Uh, but you can also see the, uh, the mag wheels here. These are the uh, injection molded uh, magnesium wheels and uh, you know these are also very low maintenance you'll never need to true those wheels um, and then the, the tires there are nice uh, sort of a city slick but they've got uh, kind of a wide profile uh, for a comfortable ride and then uh, coming around to the front here this is the uh, front front hub motor and this is a 250 watt uh, front hub motor uh, that actually can go up to 500 watts with the custom uh, mode, which I'll talk about in a little bit. You can also see the uh, front disc brake rotor there is also enclosed and you've got that uh, front disc brake caliper right there with the uh, front mag wheel. Alright, so taking a look at the other side of the Go Cycle, you'll see something a little bit different. <laughs> it's got a uh, one-sided uh, fork here and uh, the one-sided uh, rear swing arm. So uh, definitely a futuristic style look to it. And uh, it also allows for easy wheel removal. Uh, you can see here there's a quick release system and it uses three levers uh, to open that up and pull the wheel off. So I'll show that here in a bit. Here's a look at the charger of the Go Cycle. It plugs into any normal wall outlet and uh, it takes about five and a half hours to fully charge the battery pack. You can see it plugs into the back of the, uh, the main frame right there. And then uh, also back there is the on off switch for the Go Cycle. All right, so this is the handlebar area, and uh, what you'll find here is the display of the uh, Go Cycle. So on the uh, the left side, you've got your battery level indication. Uh, in the center, there's uh, it'll show what gear you're in, either one or two or three, and then uh, when you're moving, it'll show uh, the speed. So um, provides some pretty uh, pretty basic information uh, at a quick glance, and it also keeps the the handlebar area uh, very clean overall. Here's a quick look at the hydraulic disc brake levers uh, on the handlebars. Uh, one of the things you'll notice is that uh, they route the uh, cables through the handlebar area to keep the, the looks of the bike uh, really clean. And that's definitely a uh, signature of the Go Cycle, just keeping, uh, keeping the bike looking really clean. So on the left side of the grip here, you'll see that little red button, and that uh, provides some additional boost in the pedal assist modes, or that's the throttle in the on-demand mode. Uh, on the other side, sort of a similar location, you've got a black button that will uh, shift manually for you, uh, the electronic shifting. Um, there's also the predictive uh, shifting, which is pretty cool. It will actually shift the bike up or down gears, uh, depending on how fast the bike is going and uh, when you let off uh, just a little bit 
bit on the pedals it will it will shift for you so uh, that's really cool because you know when you come to a stop uh, say you know a stoplight uh, the bike will be shifted to the lowest gear so you can uh, accelerate and and then uh, shift up to get up to speed so one of the coolest features of the Go Cycle is the Go Cycle Connect app. Um, this is a smartphone application that can be loaded on an iPhone or an Android, and then it uh, will communicate wirelessly uh, using Bluetooth, and uh, you can set the different modes of the bike uh, right here. So City Mode is a pedal assist mode that uh, will get you to work uh, with little sweat. Um, it, uh, it's a pedal assist um, with the throttle boost option. Um, then you've got uh, Eco, which is um, more of a more of a workout, but uh, you still get some assist. So it's you know good for long range. On demand is basically uh, throttle only, so you can be pedaling the bike like normal and then get uh, some boost uh, when climbing hills or uh, accelerating from a, a stop. Um, then custom, the default setting for custom is like Eco Plus, so it's it's just a little bit of help. But what's really cool is that you can go custom and then go edit. And then you can actually set, um, you can customize the ride style. So you can go, um, you can set where the assist kicks in, uh, how many watts you have to be pedaling, uh, and then uh, how many watts uh, you will be pedaling when the assist is providing 100% assist. So um, it's very easy to, to play around with that and tweak it to, to your riding style. You can also set, um, you know, whether pedaling is required for motor assist. Uh, you can, you know, just simply uh, push the red button for throttle. Um, and then uh, also you've got your top speed. So you can set that, you know, right now I've got it set at 25 miles an hour. Uh, or you can set it lower, say like, you know, 18 or set it to 20 miles an hour. Um, so a lot of uh, customization, uh, which is really cool. I mean, this is uh, definitely one of the standout features of the Go Cycle. Uh, being able to sort of customize your ride uh, is definitely something that uh, really makes this bike stand out. All right, so uh, removing the wheels is really easy. You just uh, undo uh, these levers right here and uh, just open them up like that. And then you just hold the fork and the wheel pops off like that. Okay, the same is true for the rear wheel. Just open up the three levers and the wheel just will pop off like that. It's pretty easy. All right, so to fold up the, the main frame, you kick up the kickstand right here and then uh, put the uh, rear swing arm down just a little bit compressed to pull the shock pin out there like that and then rotate the swing arm down like that and then uh, rotate the pedal so it's facing down and then you've got a uh, platform for the bike like that to fold down the handlebars Basically just undo that quick release and spin it out like that and then it will fold back and then just twist the handlebars like that and uh, then re reinstall the quick release. Alright, to remove the uh, seat mast what you want to do is uh, come along and remove the little rubber cover there on the frame. Use the 4mm Allen wrench that comes with the Go Cycle and loosen it like that and then pull the seat mast out and then set it by the frame. All right, so there's the fully folded Go Cycle G2. You can see it folds down pretty small. Um, there's a travel case that Go Cycle sells if you wanted to get that for uh, easy transport, but uh, it's pretty amazing how small that gets, and uh, the G2 weighs 35 pounds. All right, so that's the overview of the Go Cycle G2 electric bike. This bike retails for $4,999. Make sure you check out the full review at electricbikereport.com. 